One of the high, high points of my trip, I uh, uh, got down to East Des Moines, got to meet with uh, Eugene and his crew down there in the store and a and, uh, uh, chance to share some uh, stories and time and put together packages. I spent the night there and the next morning I got up and pulled the truck and trailer around to where I was away from other vehicles to do my inspection. And uh, this little boy and his, his mother pulled around and he asked me what I was doing. And I told him I was collecting things for, for packages for the, for the military. And he said, really? And I said, yeah. I said, uh, you know, we're taking care of our military. And he says, wow, that's great. And I said, uh, I said, your mom's there with you. I said, your dad, dad out here with you shopping too? And he pointed off and he pointed off in the distance and uh, said, no, he's over there. And his mother behind him lip synced that dad was, was dead and that uh, he died in Iraq. And uh, at that point, I told him he was a good little soldier and, and uh, he asked his mom if he could, could give something. So he reached around the back seat and he grabbed a gift and he came out came back to me, I opened up the back door of the trailers and lifted them up, and he put the gift in there. Came back down and I told him he was a good little soldier. And I thanked him for, for giving and partaking with us. I think it was amazing that a young man who has lost his father uh, was able to find it in his heart to give back to the troops that are still over there fighting for us. So I thought I would share that with you.